Hello there. Today's build video is on Valkyr, the raging beast. As you can see, I have the Valkyr Warframe ready to go. I will go over her strengths and weaknesses. Now, first of all, let's look at her mods. I have one Forma in my Valkyr build for Energy Siphon. I have a Primed Continuity and an Intensify. A Vitality and Steel Fiber. Uh, one of the strengths of Valkyr is that she has a lot of armor. So I focus on Vitality and Armor. As you can see, she has 1,020 armor with this steel fiber upgrade you could get a little more out of it if you wanted to push it I use constitution for more power duration and knockdown recovery streamline to use less energy quick rest and rush rush I think is good with this build because she needs a lot of speed, melee speed, with her abilities, and we'll go over her abilities. Um, the main strength of Valkyr is to become a temporarily invincible tank, to rush into large squads, and to uh, soak all the damage. So, if we look at her abilities, uh, Ripline provides some uh, mobility. Uh, you can reach higher heights with this than other Warframes, if need be. Not going to solve a lot of tough missions. But her main abilities are Warcry and Hysteria. So, Warcry will increase your armor and your melee attack speed um, it will also make all the enemy nearby enemies slower and then hysteria will make you uh, nearly invincible give you life steal damage multiplier and you use these large claws to take people out with melee attacks. Um, she gets some life steal, and I mostly have duration mods to increase its duration when I use it. So, Warcry plus Hysteria is a good combo, and we'll take out uh, big tough enemies, be able to uh, get back the health, any health you've lost from having low shields, but her armor usually makes up for that. So I found Valkyrie useful in some situations against uh, bosses, if you're doing boss runs, you can take whatever damage the boss is dishing out and do damage in return. So you can make Valkyr, I like the look, she can look pretty pretty great at her Bastet helmet going for me there. And she can be very fun to play, she's very in your face, kind of simple melee attack build, you can try to spice it up with some maneuvers, wall runs, things like that, get around, and uh, that's generally how I use her. Um, she's not one of the frames that will get requested or will be a team popular build in most cases, I would guess, but if you 
need someone to be invincible and res other members take a lot of damage she's a tank and she can heal herself with her ultimate's lifesteal so she just does not excel in room clearing very fast or uh, defense of an objective so keep that in mind when you play her and thanks for watching.